Hello Commanders and welcome to this video for Infinite Lagrange. Today we are going to finish our frontline um, series of short videos by talking about battle cruisers. Um, before we go there, a very quick um, addition. I'm on a different account today, my second account that I started some time ago because I got some special ships to show. Um, but I got a lot of feedback from the last video where we talked about cruisers and I said I don't really like Zio so much. Zio has a very special position so I just want to clarify that before we go into the battle cruisers. Um, the advantage of Zio is it has a high evade chance so it can evade by around 30% when fully 31% when fully skilled up and um, with this together with the energy resistance you can get another um, so we have 10% already here and we can skill another 10 and 10 so another 20% up to 30% this does at the end reduce energy damage by or avoid energy damage let's say it this way by around 50 percent and in special in late end game if you fight pirates there are certain level 11 pirates that are i think 100 percent or nearly all of them are energy um, weapon pirates for these the io is better if you want to get a better look at it i wrote um, a comment i will pin it in the other video so you still have much lower HP for the IO, but with all the avoidance and the energy resistance for pure energy enemies, the IO is in fact the best cruiser to tank. But as soon as we go into um, fights where we have any of the conventional weapons, kinetic weapons, projectile weapons, missiles or torpedoes, the um, Chimera is getting, yeah, on top again so just want to clarify that before we go into the battle cruisers the battle cruisers will be very short um, there are only two battle cruisers that can be placed in the front row the spear of uranus is standard in the front row it is pretty amazing it does a lot of damage it comes with 240 base armor and you can upgrade if, if you take a look we have five upgrades for the armor system so we can upgrade it by another 150 armor plus um, an additional 20 percent energy resistance unfortunately it only comes with five percent base energy resistance um, it does really really good damage the problem with these are they are slow they are really slow they cost 35 comment points so usually what you do is you send them as reinforcements meaning you usually only have five of them in your fleet else your fleet will move like a snail probably even slower than a snail and um this limits it okay you can get a reinforcement stocking then you can send nine of them they are limited to a total of six so keep that in mind um, so having five in one fleet is already very close to the maximum, at least of one of the types. While in the base setup, the Spear of Uranus for sure is the best frontline tank ship. And it does some really good damage with 27,700 anti-ship. The ST-59 has... Um, a very interesting place in the game. It does significantly less damage. It starts in the middle row. You have to keep that in mind. It can strike back row ships, which is something pretty interesting. But we will talk about yeah damaging other ships or DPS later. But when we go into the details for the armor, it comes with a 10% energy shield and 180 armor. So um, this is already more energy resistance but lower armor so 240 versus st with only 180 but when we take a look we have six upgrade slots for our armor system so we can easily get an additional 150 armor similar to the spear we can get an additional 20 percent energy resistance so we have five percent more because we already start with 10 percent and now we can also um, get the 
um, ship charging stands. We will put it into the front row. Therefore, we finally only have five really usable armor slots and that's similar to our spear. Why is the ST so interesting? The ST is so interesting because everyone will get it um, at the end of the season pass. So it is a guaranteed um, battle cruiser you get and it has some really really nice and interesting additional options so for all of you who are not familiar with um, battle cruisers and carriers they don't have different variants but they have a blueprint design and when you click on this you can look and you can change certain um, parts of these ships you can change the weapon platforms to do this you have to get the blueprint again and then you get a random additional module and you can also add systems and this is where it gets interesting because you can add an energy armor system that gives you an additional 35 percent energy resistance we already have 30 percent when we scale it up so we are talking about 65 energy resistance or you can add an additional 250 armor um, you also get then 10% ship evasion and a reduced hit rate for your main weapon. But this ship is not for doing damage. Having an additional 10% evasion, additional 250 armor is pretty nice. Or at the other point, adding 35% energy resistance is also something that you should not ignore at all. All of this comes then with a really nice 121,000 HP. So also there we are lower than the Spear of Uranus. But with the modules, the ST-59 is a very, very interesting option. If you put it in the front line and especially the high energy resistance from this ship is something that cannot be ignored. Having five of them in the front line, 65% energy damage reduction 10 percent additional evade we already have a 10 percent um sorry no that was the wrong one um we already have the 10 percent so 65 percent 10 percent evade that reduces um the damage that is incoming to only like that you get 30 percent and <laughs> if you think about this this is really really big so if you ask me which one is the best battle cruiser for tanking, if we talk about base variants, for sure the Spear of Uranus is the best one. But um, if we talk overall, it will depend what modules you get. What modules do you get for the ST-59? What do you get for the Spear? And um, then this ship will be the best. So I do like both of them. Unfortunately, I don't have the modules for the ST-59 on my main account. Therefore... Sure, I do use the Spear of Uranus on my main account. Here on that account, I honestly use the ST-59 because with these modules, adding them, it is just a beast. And as tanking, for tanking, it does do a better job than my Spear because for the Spear, I do not have any of these modules. So, this was a very short one. Um, with both my accounts, I'm now in the Pioneer system. So as soon as we get out there, we will do the data rescue agreement. I will come back with more videos and it will get very, very interesting. So if you didn't do it yet, subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up and then I'll see you on the next video again.